All right, it is time for the Pacific region tier list based off of their performances at the Brazil lock-in tournament. And I'm going to give you a couple of thoughts about each team and what I think their 2023 season is going to look like. So starting off, we have Talon. And Talon were a team that it was a little bit hard to predict what they were going to do this year. They grabbed the old Zersha core. They lost Scary. They had a couple of new guys come in. Uh... And they looked really good. They looked really, really solid. Um, they definitely, I think, caught some of the teams that they played against a bit off guard at how aggressive and, you know, kind of active they played the game. And I was pleasantly surprised. Uh, I, you know, they've been a team that has always, to me, looked like they have some good strats. They've got some good ideas. But sometimes they just kind of like lose out on duels to some of the better teams and they get a little bit too chaotic at times uh i think in this type of tournament maybe that play style is good and so i don't want to rate them too highly but obviously i have to respect the performance that they did so i think for me talon this year are a team that is not going to be at the upper echelon of the pacific league but they are going to be one of those kind of spoiler teams i feel like they will be competing for that third spot uh at the masters tournament um so for me that puts them you know either somewhere in the bottom of a tier or the the top of b tier uh, i think for now i'm going to put them in a tier and i think that you know if we can see consistently good performances out of the likes of garnets um and jit boys sort of their their two newer players then they certainly could solidify themselves as an A tier team that is going to be competing on the international stage uh, regularly this year. So um, they looked very good and they deserve the A tier. Moving on to Team Secret, another surprisingly good team. You know, I think a lot of people looked at Secret. They had a decent performance uh, to make it to one of the Masters tournaments last year. They, you know, played okay. They they played pretty well. And then they just kind of bombed out and, and weren't really seen ever again. <laughs> so it was hard to rate them coming into this year. And they looked pretty darn good. I think this is another one of those teams that caught some teams off guard with, you know, how good they were and, and how good their ideas were. They looked uh, pretty structured and they looked pretty talented. I do think that they are also one of those teams that tends to kind of like lose out in the chaos situations where, you know, overall individual skill takes over. And I don't think that they can necessarily compete with the likes of a DRX, uh, you know, just toe to toe. So for me, again, it, it's it's like between top of B and middle to bottom of A. I think we'll go ahead and throw them in A for now. I might move them around a little bit. We'll see. But I think that they they, they look pretty good. I don't expect them to necessarily guaranteed make it to Masters Tokyo. And I wouldn't be surprised if they ended up kind of like in the middle of the pack this year. Uh, RRQ. I think RRQ were a team that most people expected not to do very well. And they didn't. But they didn't look awful. They just didn't look very good. Uh, they, they were, you know, kind of unstructured. Their ideas were kind of weird. I was not super pleased with the comps that they ran. It's kind of hard for me to put them anywhere other than like bottom of C slash top of D. They just, they don't look like a team that's going to do a lot this year, in my opinion. Um, I think there's a pretty serious tier gap between them and like the top six teams in this league. So uh, it's very tempting. I think I'm going to put them in, in C because I think there's a, a clear worse team than them. Uh, but it's it's not really that close between them and B tier, in my opinion. Uh, S tier, DRX. DRX, I think, are very clearly the best team in the Pacific League still, uh, as everybody kind of expected. And I think that their dominance of the region will probably continue. Uh, they, they got a bit challenged this tournament. You know, they had moments where they looked a little shaky. Obviously, they didn't make it to the finals. They kind of did the classic DRX thing where they look really, really good sometimes pressure gets to them they look a little bit worse they crumble a little bit it's it's disappointing as a fan of this team somebody who's been watching them since their vision strikers days i want them to win a tournament i don't know if they have what it takes to be honest they just seem to 
constantly get to this spot where it's just too high pressure the mistakes just just kind of like accumulate and then they just crumble under the pressure and i i don't know if it's going to change but as far as the pacific league goes they're going to continue to dominate they're just too good their structure is too good their ideas are too good their player quality is too good so s tier for drx and hopefully they'll make it to s tier in the international leagues we'll see uh global esports global esports was a fairly interesting team to me um you know they they have this interesting project they've got players from all over the place truly global esports uh they have you know some fan favorites sk rossi i thought they looked pretty good they didn't look great but they looked pretty good they definitely have some potential to grow i thought their structure was okay um they're clearly you know trying to do some interesting things and sometimes it worked sometimes it didn't that's valorant i think that they're pretty solidly in the b tier for me i feel like they're a team that is going to consistently get better throughout the course of the year um and i actually am pretty optimistic about this project so i'm going to put them in the b tier and honestly i wouldn't be surprised to see them beating the likes of a secret at some point this year um so you know stocks are rising i suppose gen g this is going to be a bit of a hot take but they are my second s tier team and i know we only saw them play one series they lost o2 to allowed but the valorant they played in that one series was probably like top 10 for the entire tournament in my opinion i thought that they looked really really clean i thought they looked very structured i thought their players looked very very talented I thought that they looked like they could beat almost any team at the event. And it's just unfortunate that they happened to go up against Loud in the first round because I would have loved, absolutely loved to see them play like two or three more series. But for me, the player quality on this team is very good. It's like they took everybody that's not on DRX in Korea that is like a top tier player and they got them all in one spot. They have um, Bale as the coach. Uh, they still have you know pieces of like the old new turn they've got meteor they are a very talented team with a lot of experience and i honestly could see them potentially challenging drx for the top of the league so that might be kind of a hot take but genji i think is uh i think they're going to make masters tokyo and i think that they're going to be one of the best teams in the pacific region okay zeta division the fan favorites where do we rank them Again, this is a team that it's like they look really good at times, really bad at other times. I think they were trying to do some new stuff with their roster this year. Like they had Crow playing a different role and they, they kind of swapped the role of Ten and Crow. Ten is a very aggressive player. He was playing the Rays for them, he was playing the KO, and he looked pretty good playing those roles last year. This year, at least for this tournament, they had him on the Sova, and he did not look like he knew how to use Sova utility. He was like darting walls directly in front of his face. His arrows were like there was like no lineups that he was using. It was it it kind of looked like he had never played Sova before. So maybe they'll put him back on the raise and things will kind of work out again. It's it's pretty hard for me to rate them much higher than B tier as much as I would love to see them compete, you know, they have the potential to be an A tier team, but I'm also just worried that, you know, they're just kind of capped as far as how good they can be with the players that they have. And there's just so much pressure on them to be good. <laughs> and I just don't know if they're gonna be able to recognize that. I think I would probably put them above global but it's it's going to be close again they could potentially be up in the a tier they they may even end up higher than than secret or talon but for now i think it, i have to kind of like wait and see with this team they're in the b tier paper rex paper rex i think is gonna be one of those teams that a lot of people are going to be like oh they fell off they're bad you know their their strats only worked for when they could play the yoru and stuff and i think that there is a little bit of validity to you know maybe they've been figured out a bit but i wouldn't you know pull the plug on this project yet i think that they will be one of those teams that will compete to make it to masters i think they will be 
maybe they just are a top three team, period. But I think right now it's it's a little bit hard to put them above Talon. But I I I wouldn't be surprised if they beat Talon in a head-to-head series. It's kind of one of those things where like maybe there's teams that are as good as DRX in Korea, but when they play DRX, they just lose because there's like this specter of DRX is the best team. How do you beat this team? And I think that's kind of what Paper X is for like the rest of the SEA region. So I'm just gonna put them in the middle of A. Uh, they're probably better than Talon, but maybe they're not. <laughs> and that's all I can really do for analysis. I wouldn't be that worried about this team Maybe they can make a little bit of a player adjustment, improve a little bit with a couple of their players who are maybe not as consistent. But I definitely think that the team could have the potential to make it up into S tier if they sort of revamp their strats and sort of, you know, rededicate themselves to figuring out what their identity is and how they're going to play the meta. Um, Any of these A tier teams, honestly, could be in the top three. Okay, T1. T1. I was not impressed, <laughs> you know, this team, they have Saya player and they have some, you know, other great Korean players, but they just, they just don't do it for me. I, I don't, maybe they'll just grind really hard. You know, they'll do the, the Korean esports thing where it's just, they, they outwork people. But for me right now, I think they're kind of at the top of C tier. Uh, and their potential is probably somewhat capped by their ability to like grow as a team this year. I think they have certain players that could be, you know, upper echelon players, but I just think that some of their other players are not. Um, and so I don't know. Uh, T1 is, is a little bit hard for me to rank. I, I don't have high expectations for them this year, but I'm also willing to be surprised. Uh, Detonation, there's no other place. They They just simply looked like they were playing Valorant from like 2020. It, it was not good. Um, they looked disconnected. They've got some good players. You know, Takuja is very good, but they just, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think the Japanese esports needs like maybe an influx of some outside, you know, tack shooter minds to come in and help sort of develop the scene a bit. Obviously they have incredible fan base. There's so many people playing the game but I don't really feel like some of the basic ideas about how to play Valorant have like infiltrated the, the overall Japanese consciousness and it's holding the entire scene back because I'm just seeing them do like really basic stuff wrong. You know, as far as their trading, as far as like their positioning and, and combo utility it's just very basic stuff that was just not being done. Um, and you know, maybe it's just new team stuff, but, I'm not super high on them and I don't really know what they can necessarily do to even have a chance of like competing for a spot higher up in this league. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and, and lump the Chinese teams in here with the Pacific region. I, I assume China will have its own system. I don't really know what that's going to look like, but I figure why not? Uh, FPX FPX were surprisingly pretty good. Um, I think that they're probably like top of B, maybe low A. This is this is where things get a little bit weird because it's like, if I put them in B, do I really think that they couldn't beat some of these A tier teams? The answer is no, but do these A tier teams really belong in A tier? I mean, maybe we should do something like this, to be honest, but I think I'm pretty happy just putting FPX in in uh in b tier i think that they looked they looked really good at times but they also looked a little outclassed at times i th I think the chinese region is one that is going to steadily get better they always have in every esport um they certainly are one of those regions that will like outwork other regions and so by the end of this this season maybe fpx ends up beating every other team that's not drx and gen g um so, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I should just put them all in here because I, I could see that being the case. I'm going to leave them in B for now. Edward Gaming, though, I am going to go ahead and throw into A tier. I, I legitimately think that this team 
could be like if if china was part of the pacific league i could see them being a top three team um so i'm gonna put them just below paper x but i can see them beating paper x i can see them beating talon i think they're very good and they are only going to get better because they looked hungry to win and i think that they're just going to continually grind and outwork a lot of other teams um so that's the pacific region hopefully you guys enjoyed that let me know what you think in the comics and we'll see you very soon